Did you ever wonder what made a firewood processor a firewood processor instead of just a big splitter? I'm going to answer that question. To be a wood pro firewood processor, it's got to have an end feed. It's got to have a measuring block and a chop saw. It's got to have some kind of a splitting device. This one happens to be a rugged made 322-24. It's got to have an out feed. And you've got to be able to control the functions from a single point. Sometimes the junk pile steel doesn't really want to cooperate. Clearance when it leaves the cutoff saw and the uh, chute need to be addressed. With a little patience and trial and error, I think anybody could build a workable firewood processor, but you're probably not going to see one here again. That one made it down the chute, but it landed on the wedge kind of lopper jawed. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, little experiment. Uh, I had kind of fun rigging it up. Uh, remember, now would be a good time to like and subscribe. By that definition, this uh, thing is a uh, firewood processor. I don't think Andrew Easton has anything to worry about, though. We've got a little campfire going here at the sawmill. Life is full of questions, like, who was Rube Goldberg? And did Red Green know him? <laughs>